Greetings! It is more Morrowind and more Variax. And this week, I've forgotten your name, Shadow Spawn 98. That's you. Has challenged us with an epic task of epicness. This is the most epic thing I think we have ever attempted to do. Forget killing Vivek. Forget collecting 250,000 forks. Forget getting Umbra. Now we have to go and hunt mud crabs. Yes, folks. We have to go and hunt the most dangerous and feared enemy in the game. The sheer sight of them will drive many people insane. That rhymed because I'm a poet and I didn't know it. As we know, they possess blistering speed and epic strength. And mandibles that can crush a man in twain if he is not careful. But we shall attempt to go and handsome and steal their delicious meats. Let us go to Saran. Because that is uh, the beaches south of there are a common breeding ground for this ferocious enemy of ferociousness. In fact, do I have any arrows? Because we are going to have to take this at long range. Okay, silver arrows. We're probably going to have to use the silver arrows on these because these are going to be very, very difficult to kill. Very, very difficult. In fact, Shadow Spawn 98, I hate you. And I, in fact, I will block you for making this, this, this uh, suggestion. Because it is so impossible that I, I am probably going to lose my mind doing this. And, um, before I do so, I, yeah, you're blocked, dude. You're blocked. Not really. I have lost the sound compressor from my microphone, which basically is this sort of, uh, um, this little cover thing that goes over it and it's supposed to make like sound a bit better and I think it does. I will probably find it, it just, it falls off because the microphone I have is not very good. Um, so, sorry about that. Um, but yeah, it happened last week as well. But I didn't think it made that much difference. Only if you turn the sound right up that you can hear like it's a little bit fuzzy or something, I don't know. Right. This is mud crab territory. You can see one over there. Oh my god. Look at it. Can you see it? I can see it. It's there. They often hang out near water as their natural habitat, and they often are in groups of between two and six. Now we shall have to try and get a sneak attack because he has not seen us yet. And the ferociousness of the mud crab is there for us to behold. I'm not going to take any risks. I'm going to shoot him. <sighs> that was lucky. <sighs> now we shall cautiously and slowly approach. In case there be any more. This ash storm will probably help us in our mud crab hunting. Now you see the mandibles taken straight out of Starship Troopers, whichever came first, this or the game. But, um, or the film, but. And, and the armored carapace. And the many legs which are under it, which it scuttles along at. Breathtaking speed! I hear the mud crab can reach speeds of up to 90 miles an hour. Terrifying, isn't it? But behold, succulent crab meat, which restore fatigue. Om nom nom. Oh, by the way, didn't sort my out my inventory yet. Didn't even drop the ebony closed helm because I, I just didn't. Oh my god! No 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 no. See, I think that one's over there. You see how it uh, blends in with the rocks and the uh, driftwood washed upon the shore. 
waiting for ships to come by where it will pounce and sink it, rending its hull with its mandibles. Oof. Now there's another one there, you see. There's another one. I didn't even see that. Of course, the, uh, the mud crab has often been confused with the kraken. Or rather, the other way around, I suppose. The kraken is often confused with the, with the mud crab for its uh, ferociousness at, at sea. But, uh, as I'm sure you will appreciate, the kraken is but a younger, more dweeby brother than the mighty mud crab. They're out in force today. It's a good thing we have our longbow of mud crab slaying plus 20. Delicious crab meats. The value is worth is one purely because it is so unlikely that you will ever collect any that there's not even a, a price for them. Now we can see the underbelly of the mud crab. See, look, it's six legs and these giant pincers leading to this vicious maw, which will de devour you in one gulp. Well, you know, and uh, the, even the underside is, is armored and completely without much detail whatsoever. Now, maybe we can get a little bit closer. I think they're a little bit... Uh, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Sleepy, um, oh, dormant, um, uh, someone will put it in the comments. I know. Subdued, it's not the word I'm looking for, but you know what it is, don't you? Docile, docile, that's it. They're a little bit docile, I think it's because when the uh, sun is precisely in that position and there is an ash storm, they go to sleep. So we are indeed fortunate that we might be able to even sneak up on a mud crab and see it move, perhaps. I kind of wish this was oblivion now because at this stage of the game I would have my zoom on my bow so I could. Is this one dead? Yes. Who would have known? I mean, they're kind of like all the same. Alright, this one. Oh, you see it? You see? You see how it's sprung up? Even in its dull style state, it realizes that something is afoot. Maybe, perhaps we will see it move. Oh, did you see that? It's going back into its camouflage state on the beach, pretending to be a rock. Oh my god! I think that was a warning sign to keep away. It knows I'm here. I think I might just have to... Oh, God! I shouldn't look away. I have actually been known to be sneaked up on by a mud crab before. And that is not a joke. Die! Spawn of Satan! Hmm. We seem to be running dry of mud crabs when we find this very rare specimen. This... This... Rare exotic find in the world of Morrowind. This is what is known as a cliff racer, or its Latin name, Various Annoyingers. And it's dead. There's another one. I think. I thought I was being attacked there, but it seems I'm not, which is good. Which is good. There's a mud crab over there, so if we get rid of that thing. Thank you. We'll now perhaps be able, maybe if I have a um, some invisibility, which I do, because I've got the bow that I'm using. Um, yeah, I can, I can, I can, um, let's see. My little finger hurts because it's been held in on sleep all the time. Um, uh, sh bow shadows, bow shadows, where is bow shadows? Oh, shut it there. Okay. Now, even though I am completely invisible, I will still be very, very, very careful 
When approaching Terrifyingus Mandibulinus or its common name the mud crab. There it is, you see? You see the way its feet move like that? Ready to pounce on any ships that it might see. In fact, I think it might just go and eat that building over there. It's terrifying. This is a rare glimpse we're getting of the terrifying mud crab. And there it sleeps. You see, it even tucks away its giant mandibles, <laughs> pretending to be a rock. And there it pounces! Oh, did you hear that? Maybe we can hear it again. Please do it again. It is the terrifying scream of a mud crab. Oh, there it is! Oh, epic! Just epic. We'll let that one live. Because we don't want to, like, wipe them out. You know? That would be bad. <gasps> Oh, I can't keep it up anymore. Where's it gone? Pound. Yeah. Hunting mud crabs. Hunting mud crabs. Oh, marvelous. Fantastic. Wunderbar. Yes. Oh, we've got a friend around here, though, haven't we? We've got a friend around here. I didn't even think of that. Where are you? Over here, I think. What is this? Manabi. Should we go in there anyway? Let's go in there anyway. Let's just go in there and uh, say hello to whoever might be in here. Because, you know, a little bit of variation, you know. Mud crabs, rats, you know, same thing. You know, let's just see how quickly we can get through here. Probably very quickly. Hi! 